So for some reason, some agents were very optimistic for the month of September, saying that things are going to rebound. You know, people want to move in before uh, Christmas starts, so September should be pretty busy. Uh, that is not the case. Actually, the opposite has actually happened. September was actually the slowest month we've had so far this year, at least for the city of Brampton. So let's get into the stats right away. And um, this is what I want to share with you guys. Prices are down 29% since the peak of the market for a detached home. Uh, this, keep in mind, these are average prices for city of Brampton only. And so since the peak of the market, which was February and March, detached homes are down 29% and semis are down 26%. And uh, freehold townhouses and condo townhouses right around the 25% mark. Uh, that is prices dropped since the peak of the market and condos are down 18 percent since the peak of the market now let's look at number of sales uh, like i said before uh, some agents were very optimistic because august was actually busier than july so they thought you know like uh, the market's going to rebound uh, but it has not september is actually the slowest month we've had so far this year for the city of brampton it is down more than 50 percent when you compare it to the peak of the market you can see here march 928 sales in february they had 918 and in September only 405 now let's do a four-year comparison because sometimes you know like I get requests saying that you know the last couple couple of years have been kind of all over the place so why don't we do like a four-year comparison and I said if I have some time yes I'll put it together so I did <laughs> so I hope you guys find this useful uh, keep in mind this is for September only like September 2019 what things were selling for September 2020 what things were selling for and this is the latest numbers, September 2022, what they're selling for today. So, for example, uh, on average, uh, a detached house sold for 1.17 in September. That is below what it was sold for in 2021, but it is still quite a bit higher than what it was selling for two years ago in 2020. Uh, same thing pretty much all across the board. Prices are lower than what they were selling for last year but they're still quite a bit higher than what they were selling for two years ago, especially three years ago, like a condo would sell for like 414 in 2019 and it's selling for $567,000 in 2022. So still quite a big gap. I don't know if it'll ever come down to these prices. I don't know. I mean, I don't think anybody knows, uh, but we'll just wait and see. We'll see how the next few months go. And um, now let's break it down by price. Because some people want to know, okay, you know, like which price range is doing well, which one is struggling. Uh, and I can tell you, at the peak of the market, the busiest price range was 1 million to 1.5, which is in yellow. Like you can see here, almost 500 sales at the peak of the market. But now they have dropped considerably since the month of June. And right now they are posting just above 100 sales. And you can see anything above 1.5. Like 1.5 to 2 and 2 million plus is almost non-existent. Like August, it was right here. And in September, it is almost non-existent. Like hardly anything is selling about $2 million. If it is, it's taking a long time. Now, we're not done. If you guys enjoy this kind of stuff, uh, like honest update uh, without the sales bias, uh, please consider subscribing because it does help out the channel. And uh, cheers me up. <laughs> so let's discuss uh, price month by month. So at the peak of the market, they were selling for 1.65. That was in January. That's a detached average price. And now they're selling for 1.17. That is a drop of almost $500,000 in only a matter of few months. Now a detached median has dropped $440,000 since the peak of the market. Uh, yeah, by the way, I'm comparing it to the peak of the market. So sometimes it'll be February, sometimes it'll be January. But in this case, it happens to be February, and that is a drop of $440,000. Freehold townhouses, average prices. Um, the peak of the market was February. In this case, they were selling for $1.18, and now they're selling for $887,000 in September. That is a drop of $292,000 in average prices for freehold townhouses. Uh, same thing for freehold townhouse median they're dropping at almost $300,000. They're, they're down to $294,000. Now, if you want to look at the condos average prices, average prices peaked in February 
at $693,000 and now they're selling at around $567,000. That is a drop of one twenty six. dollars And median prices for condos, uh, they're down to $550,000 and that is a drop of $143,000. So that's the market update for September. Um, like I said before, if you guys need any help uh, buying or selling, um, call me at this number, uh, but I will be very honest with you guys because uh, I think that's the best way to go about it. Uh, because for some people, it might make sense not to buy right now. And for some people, it might make sense not to sell right now. So if you guys need some honest advice, you can call or text me at this number and I'll see you next time. Thanks. See ya.